All right, this is 3865 Moose Run. Um, so we're here in the Northwind neighborhood. So off of uh, like Vickers and Montarbor. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like the, about this neighborhood, like the houses are always kind of great in here. Um, I like the makeup of the neighborhood. I like where it's located, but it kind of sits down in this valley um, where it doesn't get like a lot of direct sunlight. I don't know if you, I mean, you can see like, it's, so it's 60 degrees here in the spring today and a lot of the streets have melted off. Um, but all of these houses are still kind of covered in snowpack. And this, it just, there's not a lot of direct sunlight down here. And, you know, I get a little bit of seasonal depression. So this time of year when the sun sets at like 4.30 or, you know, before five o'clock, it's, I, I can't stand it. And in here, it seems like it gets a little darker a little sooner. Um, so you do have a little bit of a sloping here. Everything's kind of funneling to the left. You can see it's starting to pull away from the house. Um, and a, a big part of that is probably stuff like this, snow not melting off. Um, but you do get some settling on the left side of the house here, or to the left. When you come in, I really like what they've done on the inside. Not a lot of light in here though, but you do have these super tall vaulted ceilings. You kind of an older light fixture there. But you've got these super cool floors with the bricks around on the fireplace. And you got the kind of a knotty pine tongue and groove ceiling with like a darker stain on it. It looks really good. Kind of feels like a ski lodge or something in here. But again, like without all these lights on, it's super dark. Oh, there's the fan light. And then this is not that. Let me turn this on. And that's the thing, like you would just, I feel like you would just need lights on in here all the time. So it didn't get uh, depressing. <laughs> that's kind of fun. I wonder if this was an old closet at one point and they just ripped all of it out. Like maybe the washer and dryer was here. This was a pantry. Because this is kind of a unique little alcove here. You don't see that a lot. And then coat closet here. And then let's see. Kitchen. So it's kind of more of a galley kitchen. It's a little bit narrow. Um, stainless appliances. Except for the dishwasher and the fridge. Uh, but you have granite countertops. Again, the big white tile backsplash, which is very in right now um, the cabinets look great on the inside i think i almost think this is the reverse of what we just saw i think the cabinets like the boxes are new and then they recycled the doors and painted them because these doors are older but the cabinet boxes look brand new um, again farmhouse style sink without the divider modern fixture I don't think they're, yeah, I mean, even below that paper looks new. So yeah, I think they I think they replaced all the boxes and kept the doors, which is kind of an interesting choice. So you do have a little eat-in area here. Gosh, it almost feels like a, a boat kitchen, like the, the galley kitchen with the small eat-in area, area. I guess that's why they call it a galley kitchen. So laundry room here. And then you've got the washer and dryer separated. I hope this vents somewhere. So yeah, so it does vent outside, so that's good. Oh, a lot of noises. Uh, is there a light? So again, a, a pretty small two-car garage. Uh, again, shallow and narrow. Little workbench area over here. This is your electric panel. So smaller panel, looks like a hundred amp. So that might be maxed out. Um, and I'll walk around and see if there's AC, but if, if there's no AC and you wanted to add AC or like a hot tub or you know, any kind of electrical, you might have to upgrade the panel at the same time. So basin sink in here. Water heater is from 2014, but I don't see a sticker. So again, kind of an unpermitted thing. 
and again with the water heater probably not that big of a deal but stay uh it just lets you know they didn't they didn't call regional so it's kind of a sign like okay if like if they're doing that project on their own what other projects are they doing on their own without consulting with regional you know what i mean pantry here it's like i just don't trust homeowners to do things the right way so you do have a slider here to the backyard it looks like they've got a kind of a drop down um i don't even know what you call that it's like a curtain to block the neighbors bedroom here on the main level maybe slightly older carpet but again they've got this newer white trim uh, they've upgraded the doors big closet for an auxiliary bedroom that's a pretty good sized closet linen closet modern thermostat Another bedroom here. You know, I like that they've upgraded the doors and the trim. They've kind of got this hand trowel look on the ceiling. Vinyl windows. Again, another good size closet. In here, put that same floor from the living room. And then they've upgraded the hall bathroom with a modern vanity, a little tile backsplash. And then the same tiles in, inlaid in the, or the same you know, the tiles inlaid in the, the shower tile. And then they've upgraded all the fixtures as well. Kind of an oversized tub too. I like these where it's a little bit deeper and then a little bit wider. You know, some of those other tubs are really short and really uh, narrow. And if you were actually trying to take a bath, it doesn't really work that well. So same wood floors in here. And then the master bedroom has a slider to the backyard as well. And then they've upgraded the master bathroom with a new vanity. Oiled bronze fixture, oiled bronze towel rack, new towel. I like the insets too, so you have like little shampoo and soap holders. So that's really nice. And it looks like, for the most part, they did some quality work. Little details on the ceiling. Yeah, I like it. Again, the only thing I don't like here, and I don't know if this would bother, you know, other people, but is how dark the uh, the neighborhood is. So you've got a deck here in the backyard off the master. Really nice trees. I bet this is cool in the summertime. Storage shed. That's a big guy. Jeez, these are cool trees. The only thing I would worry about, um, and there's nothing in there that would make me think that there's an issue, but sometimes when you have these huge trees like this, the roots are so thick, and if they get under you know, the structure, they start to lift things up, but there's nothing in there that makes me think that that's happening. This is a, I mean, this is a great yard. You got the grass. This will be really nice in the summertime. You got the gate over here, and then this is the slider from uh, that dining room area. Yeah, and they've got the, well, yeah, I'm drawing a blank on the name of these things. Um, but you've got the little rod there and you can crank that down. That's probably about as low as it goes. But it does kind of block neighbors from peeking into your house, which is nice. But yeah. Fence all looks really good. If not dated, but it seems to be in good shape. Really no need to switch it out if it's still standing and still sturdy. I mean, you could paint it if you wanted to, but it's kind of a, a an upgrade at that point. But I don't think is there a basement here? This might be. Yeah, I don't know if there's a basement here. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so kind of a smaller house. Is it just two bedrooms? It's a two bedroom, two bath. 
So yeah, that is Moosh Run. Let me know if you have questions about it.